Today we are heading into the ancient city of Kertifo to visit a temple with a very interesting history. Kertifo is one of my favorite places in the Kathmandu Valley. It's, it's full of gorgeous heritage sites. It's set on a hill. You have gorgeous views over the Kathmandu Valley and over the valley past this hill. And not many tourists come here. It's, it's really, it really is an undiscovered gem that I wish more people would come to. One of these heritage sites even has a bell that was stolen by the king of Bhaktapur only for the king of Patan to hang it on the Patan Durbar Square. The Uma Maheshwar temple here behind me stands as kind of a lone sentinel on the Kirtipur hill. To be honest, this temple really offers some of the most amazing views in the Kathmandu Valley. You can see everything. I can see Bauda from here. I can see Swayambu from here. It's just a breathtaking view and all the kites, the black kites, are just flying around you and it's, it honestly has something magical. If the weather is very clear, which is, it is not today, uh, but mostly during like October and November, it gets really clear and you can see the peaks of Langtang from here. The temple behind me dates back to 1655, when King Sidi Narasingh Mala, I probably butchered that name, had the temple erected for the divine couple Lord Shiva and Parvati. The temple itself is supported by no less than 20 wooden pillars and at the steps of the temple you can find two large stone elephants. The elephants were actually installed seven years later in 1662. Okay, so why did they put those elephants there? Well, in many Niwari temples, the, the entrance of the temple is actually being guarded by animals or gods. Sometimes you see lions, sometimes you see gods, like for instance Hanuman, uh, sometimes you see people, uh, and sometimes you see elephants. When we look at the lintels of the temple, and the lintels are the things that span the openings, like the doors and the windows, we see that these are decorated with the eight forms of Bhairav. Bhairav is an avatar of Shiva. Bhairav is very important for Kirtipur because their main temple is the Bhag Bhairav temple, which is a temple dedicated to, the, to Bhairav in his uh, tiger form. Bhairav is an avatar of Shiva who is associated with fear but also with destruction and a lot of uh, Niwar people actually pray to him to take away their fear. A very prominent statue, very important statue of Bhairav can actually be found on the Kathmandu Durban Square. When we look down we see tiny little erotic images carved into the struts and then we can also see a Trishula and the Trishula is a symbol that you will see a lot in Nepal and it is a representation of Taleju Bawani. Taleju is a patron goddess of the Niwari people. And the Kumari, who is like the child goddess, is believed to be an incarnation of Taleju. <laughs> Didn't I say that the bell was stolen by the king of Bhaktapur? Yes, I did. But, but before I go on, I do want to ask you to please give this video a like and maybe subscribe because it really means a lot to me. And the more you like and subscribe and comment, the more people will see this video on their homepage, which I think, you know, if you find it interesting, why not share it with other people around you? In many Nepali temples, you will see a bell and the bell is actually a very important part of the temple because it signifies, you know, you can ring a bell to say, hey, I'm here and I'm ready to pray. But a bell is also used to um, to warn the people who lived around the temple that there maybe was danger or an earthquake or, or, or something like that or an advancing army of Gorkhalis. And here in this temple we have a massive bell that apparently was so well crafted that it made a gorgeous sound and the bell was the envy of the other kings here in the Kathmandu Valley. Especially the king of Bhaktapur was very jealous about the gorgeous sound of this bell. So what he did was, one night, he sent out a group of thieves from Bhaktapur 
and well, I'm not sure if you can see Bhaktapur from here, but it's about 10 kilometers, 14 kilometers from here. And he sent he sent the the he sent the thieves out from Bhaktapur to come and steal the bell here in Kirtipur. Now, as you can imagine, this bell is heavy. Kirtipur is up a hill. Bhaktapur is very far. So these thieves actually didn't come very far. They just made it to a field in Patan, and then the sun was rising. And they were like, oh no, we've got this bell, it's obviously stolen, what are we gonna do with it? Otherwise we're gonna be arrested. And basically they just left the bell in a field of wheat somewhere in Patan. And then the next day, the locals saw this gorgeous, beautiful big bell in a field in Patan. And that news reached the king of Patan. And the king of Patan was like, yep, finders keepers and he took the bell and he hung it on the Patan Durbar Square and today you can see the bell hanging at the Taliju temple on Patan Durbar Square so if you go to Patan Durbar Square there's a big bell and that is supposedly the bell that was hanging here but obviously there is a bell hanging here now and it is actually rumored that this bell was one of the four bells of Gantagar. Uh, Gantagar was a very large clock tower in Kathmandu that was destroyed by the 1934 earthquake of Nepal and India. And because they thought, you know, we need to, to save these bells, we need to put them somewhere where they can be used or where they can be looked after, they just gave them to the Uma Maheshwar temple. When you look at the current bell, you can actually see that it was made by Gillette and Johnston's founders in 1895 AD. And these were founders, very famous founders from Croydon. And it's actually quite a big deal because these people have made bells for places all over the world because they were such good bell makers. They made bells for the old city hall in Toronto. They made bells for the quadrillion in the University of Leuven, which is like one of the most respected law universities in the world. They made, they made a freedom bell in Berlin. And so if you want to see a beautiful bell by these founders, you have to come to the Uma Maheshwar temple. A lot of the things that we see today in the temple are sadly reconstructed. Uh, so many temples in Nepal have been looted and robbed ever since the 70s and a lot of the things that you see today in a temple are probably in some rich person's house in the US or in Europe or in China or in some museum. Let's hope that if you find anything that belongs to this temple it can come back to Nepal and be put in a museum here in Nepal so that the Nepali people can see their own heritage. On this very sad but very important note, I'm gonna say goodbye. I really hope that you had a great time exploring this temple with me. If you are in the area, please come to Kirtipur and have a look at the Bhagbhairav temple, the Uma Maheshwar temple. Come and have a kaja set in the area. There's really good kaja sets and enjoy the view of the Kathmandu Valley. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you next week for another video.